Hey guys, it's the Crafty Missy here. Today I have a crafty haul for you. I went to a couple of craft stores today and um, I got some paper crafting stuff, a few thingamajigs for jewelry making and then some general crafty stuff. I'm going to start off with the paper crafting items. The first you can already see here. It's the especially for you 8x8 paper pack and it features the Taddy Teddy that you can see over there. I love the Taddy Teddy. He is so cute. So yeah, let me show you what this is like. This flap comes off and here are the papers. So let me just show you what what, what is in, in here. Oops, so yeah, pale yellow, hot pink, blue, or pale blue and white. And these colors repeat throughout this stack. So there are dotted papers in the same colors. And then there are starry papers also in those same colors that you just saw. So yeah, the last, oops, the last was a white starry one. There we go. So yeah, that those were the papers. And then it also had some sheets of tags. Now here is the first sheet of tags really cute tags in there quite a few of them as well and then it has some square tags i really really love these because these feature the taddy teddy so prominently so very nice tags there so that was the taddy teddy and then i got another paper pack this is the let me bring it here. Hot Diggity Dog Pack by Andrea Jane. And it is an A5 paper pack, so that's a European size. That's 21 uh, centimeters by 14.8 centimeters. And um, this is a, I think this is a really nice size for making an album. You know, if you position it like this. But let's see what I'll make with this. Let me show you the papers. Love this one especially, and this one. And these ones are the last ones. So yeah, that was the paper pack. And it also came with some sheets of tags. Now, here is the first one of them. It also has borders, as you can see there. So some borders and some tags. I love this tag, Retail Therapy. Really cute. And there are some borders. They say Hippity Hoppity and Spoiler Self. Catch of the day, big ambitions, party, 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 and happy birthday. <laughs> so they are really, really cute. And then the other one, it also has borders and tags. These tags don't have any text though. So yeah, as you can see, it also has like mice and the other um, tag sheet also had uh, kitties. So yeah. Like uh, cute animals are there. So those are the paper packs. And then I got some ribbons to match those um, paper bags. And uh, it's the Forever Friends Springtime Ribbon Assortment. Here you can see how they look like. And I have to say that this one is my favorite. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I got that. Then to match that, I got the ribbon bows. There are 20 pieces and they are just those same, same uh, ribbons that you just saw, but made into bows. Oops, there's the other side. So yeah, those are so cute. And then I got some more ribbons and these are American Crafts Elements Premium Ribbon. I got three spools, so let me show you what they are. So the first one 
is this dot eight one. Then the stripey one. And another stripey one. Looks like that. So three of them. And uh, each one has 25 yards, so there's quite a bit of ribbon. That's good because I love ribbon. And that was the paper crafting things. And then on to a couple of jewelry items. The craft store where I just was, um, they had these like jewelry um, bags that they put together themselves. And as you can see, this one is like really hot pinks and pinks. This was called Very Berry. And I love especially these beads because they look completely like uh, like raspberries, I think. And it has some big, pretty big crystals as well. Let me show you the other side. There we go. Oops, I do apologize about that. There we go. So yeah, I like this. You can make like one necklace, one uh, bracelet with this. So not a lot, but but it's enough for one piece of jewelry. And then I have been wanting to buy these for quite a while. These are from the store from which I got my grab bags. So that, that's my favorite store. And these are wooden little donuts. And there are different sizes, as you can see, and a lot of them. And I just think that these will make really nice, like, ethnic type jewelry. Or, you know, just really colorful summer jewelry. I love these. I totally adore these. They also had um, square ones, like little boxes. And you know what? Next time I go in there, I might very well find myself buying those but yeah I totally love these totally adore these so cute and there's plenty to go in here as well then uh, I got um, this from the craft store Reher this is a German brand and this is a paper mache heart rosies flat embossed and this is how they look like I'm gonna bring as close as I can. So these are like paper mache and they are embossed. They are very thin hearts. There you can see that there are three. And um, you can paint these and distress these, ink these, and they will just look pretty awesome. Here you can see on the other side they have done that. They only had the hearts. I might also have bought the round ones, but there were no none of them. So yeah, I thought this would make really nice ornaments. And then, um, well, I told you that I'm going to put up my Easter grass and I already bought Easter eggs, but I just had to buy some more. So I got these. So I got um, the Easter eggs that you saw my, in my weekend haul. They were glittery, but smooth, and these are furry. So there you can see they are furry and so cute three colors there are 12 eggs all in all so yeah i really like these eggs i'm going to make some kind of ornament with these or then i'm gonna put this in my easter grass yeah so some more easter stuff and then oh my goodness i'm so excited about this next item i like to have a wreath on my door I've had, uh, because I like making wreaths, and I have had my current wreath for about two years now, and it's time to make a new one. And I found this, and I'm going to pick up my camera now so that you can see it better. There we go. So this is like a um, blank, white, heart-shaped wreath. Isn't it beautiful? And both sides look the same and it just has this silk ribbon here that you hold it with or where it hangs from and 
Oh my goodness, I am totally so excited about this because I'm going to make this into a wreath and I'm going to decorate this. Uh, some of those um, ribbons that you saw me show you just a while ago, those I'm definitely going to use and all kinds of cute little things. And I also bought some stuff to put in on this. But what I thought was the most amazing was that this was pretty cheap. I would have expected this to be like $20 or something because this is pretty heavy and pretty big. But uh, in fact, this was, I think in dollars, this would have been about $6 which in my opinion is not a lot for a read like this, but my goodness, this was so cute and so wonderful. So I'm so excited about that and starting to work on that. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I got for it. <laughs> these ones are so cute. I got these fab, these plump fabric flowers. You can see there are four of them. There's a, a button in, in the middle and look the bat button is also on the other side so oh my goodness these are so cute this will uh, definitely attach with a glue gun really well to that wreath so I got those and then oh I love this <laughs> I got this little watering can it's metal I think it's aluminum it has a butterfly and it has that on both sides and it's just so cute. I'm I'm going to hang this from the from the heart. And this sits very well for a spring slash summer wreath. Yay. Okay, and then some more stuff. Um I don't know what you call this. Is this paper ribbon? I think so. But this is like, you know, twisted paper. And you can open this, you can untwist this, and so it makes like um really nice ribbon. So I'm going to definitely use this for the wreath. This is purple. And I also got pink. So purple and pink paper ribbon. And those were the actually the crafting items I got, but then I got some other stuff. Well, this is a crafting item obviously, but <laughs> you know, it's just essentials, let's put it this way. So I got this Prit um, Extra Power glue stick because I really need a very strong glue. So I got that. Then this you already saw in my mini haul, but I got some more of this um, adhe adhesive tape. This is my favorite. This is actually no brand at all, but I just like to use this. It's really cheap. This one as well. Probably around $2. And this lasts for a long time. So, got that. And then I got this um, for my jewelry making. I would have wanted to get some more of these, but these were pretty expensive. I don't know why, but they were just so expensive in my opinion. Oops, I don't know if you can see anything from the glare there. These are the um, rubber thingamajigs that you put in um, earrings to help them to stay in your ears. There are five pairs here, and uh, I would have wanted to get much more, but they were too expensive, so I'm probably going to get them from somewhere else where they are not quite as expensive. I have um, um, a frequent buyer card for that craft store, and they always give you awesome deals and stuff when you use your card. And this time I got some, some a few dollars off of my total, and I also got a free um, crafting magazine and then I also got a free pen so I'm just going to show you that. This is a Zik pigment ink, ink acid free archival quality and they had some other some colors and I chose the pink one. So yeah maybe I'll um, do my next exams for my students in pink and see what they think but anyway um, yeah so this was free. So um, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoyed this haul and happy crafting to you as well. See you next time. Bye.